I'm trying to figure out if we are live. Finally. Let's see. Are we live yet? It looks like we are. Yes. Wonderful. Welcome to Ginza. And I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting for so long. I was stuck at lunch. It took me an extremely long time to get my lunch. So I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Um, usually try to have a little bit more headroom before my streams, but yeah, today ended up being a little bit messy. So yeah. Anyway, we're here in Ginza and it's a beautiful day as it's been for most of the time in Tokyo recently. Clear blue skies, um, current temperature is 12 degrees and uh, yeah it's a very pleasant pleasant day for a stroll so uh, I hope you will joy, enjoy joining me on today's little adventure it's been a while since I last came to Ginza actually so I uh, kind of want to see what's what's going on here there's any well it's daytime so Christmas decorations won't be very interesting to look at during the day I guess but uh, yeah anyway let's see what what has been if there's been any changes since my last visit thank you Garfield for the super chat thank you thank you Uh, obviously lunch hour here so uh, quite a lot of people out right now are you going to coffee person so I checked actually coffee person's Instagram and doesn't look like he's there today but I'm not sure I didn't really have time to to properly look into it so if he's there it would be very nice to to stop by because I certainly need a coffee now after this lunch which I ate very hastily so we'll see first I will just head down this main street for a while uh, and then probably take one of the side streets back then maybe head towards Yurakcho and the Maranochi area, yes. Oh, it's nice weather today. Yes, Tatsuya, it is. It's very nice today. Very, very nice. Typical Tokyo winter weather. Not too cold either. It was much colder yesterday. I just passed Oslo coffee. I did, yes, I did. I've actually never been there, but it doesn't look terribly interesting from the outside, sadly enough. Despite the name, the name alone isn't enough to lure me inside. Coffee person is not there. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Too bad. Every time I'm nearby, it's like he's not there. I don't think this stream today will be terribly long, maybe about an hour at most. 
because I'm a little bit on a tight schedule today. Sorry about that. That's also why I couldn't uh, resume the day in Toshi Line walk today. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. <laughs> Tokyo gets a bit snowy. Uh, sometimes, yeah, but I don't think there was... I don't remember. Was there any snow last year? I honestly don't remember. If it was, it wasn't that much. Like when it when it uh, stays on the ground for several days, that kind of... that stands out. So if that were the case, I probably would have remembered it. There was like a few years ago we had uh, unusually... like more snow than usual. Thank you all for being so understanding. I'm not going to do an evening stream today, no. I did one yesterday. Usually evening streams, I, they're a little bit difficult for me to do right now. Short walk is better than no walk at all. Thank you, Yari. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Seems like not so good weather tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. What does the forecast say? Thursday doesn't look too bad, but Friday looks pretty bad. But tomorrow should be okay, I think. So let's cross here and uh, maybe start working our way back. This Yamaha building is pretty cool. A lot of interesting buildings here. That's why I like this street so much. Or like the buildings themselves are maybe not so interesting, but the facades, they really like try to outdo each other by making their facades as extravagant as possible, I guess. How was the naan? Oh, it was good, it was good. I had a Indian curry for lunch. Those of you who are following me on Twitter have seen what it looked like. Um, yeah, it was good, it was good. I, I kind of rushed to eat because I knew that you were waiting. So I didn't really take the time it deserved to properly enjoy my meal. So that was a bit unfortunate. But um, yeah, it's always like whenever I come to Ginza, I kind of struggle to find a decent place for lunch because there's lots of restaurants here, but many of them are very expensive. And uh, yeah, I don't want to generally like I think thousand yen is reasonable cost for lunch. That's what I try to keep it at. And this meal was 950 yen, so good value for money. Especially considering that it was, yeah, here in Ginza. Ah, you already retweeted it. Thank you, Yamaguchi-san. Thank you. Yeah, it was good. But that restaurant was very small and very crowded. So, considering the pandemic, it didn't feel so safe. But the food was good, for sure. You can 
never enjoy a good meal in the rush and no cigarette after. Oh, I don't really do cigarettes after meals, so that's not a problem, but yeah, just rushing the meal itself is not, yeah, it's not great. Stream looking okay, by the way. Looks good here on my end. Oh, boom! Already 300 viewers. That was quick. That was quick. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Try Spajiro in Ginza. I've been to Spajiro, it's a chain. Is the Ginza shop any any different than their other shops? But yeah, it's Spajiro is quite cheap. And quite good too. They do like fusion like pasta but with Japanese flavors. It's quite nice. is perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> Meal is not complete without a cup of hot coffee. I totally agree with that. So uh, let's try to get a cup of coffee somewhere soon. Now I'm kind of thinking about if I should continue down this main street here in Ginza or if I should turn to the left towards Yurakcho and uh, Marunochi area. Any any requests? Any suggestions? Red Hot, yeah, yeah, Momiji Tempura. I've had that in uh, Osaka, in uh, Mino, which is this mountainous region in uh, in the north of Osaka. It's mostly just tasted of butter. Like there was no like Momiji taste. It was just like sweet, greasy cracker. A little bit underwhelming, if you ask me. Left. Everybody votes for, for left and Marinochi, so... Your wish is, as always, my command. Let's just cross here first. Thank you, Jenny. Coffee break funds. Thank you so much. Marikyu Garden. Ah, oh, that's a nice place, but it's a little bit wrong direction from where I'm walking now. If I go there, I would probably make it like a, a stream mainly about that place. But thanks for the suggestion.
a gorgeous day today. I kind of feel like it would be nice to do a long walk. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Uh, no, I do not know Japan Explorer. And it's unfortunate that our names are so similar. Just a second. Just want to try to straighten up this horizon a little bit. Okay. 4K walk around here might be cool. Yeah, there's plenty of 4K walks from Ginza on my channel, but um, I haven't done one recently. I think they're like at least a year old, maybe two years old even. So maybe I should come back and do a 4K walk around here sometime. Where's that bell sound coming from? I think that comes from the building, the kind of iconic building down here at the Ginza Crossing, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and now they completely removed the, the little square that was here uh, at the place of what used to be the Sony building that was then turned out, taken down and turned into a very nice little square in the park. But I guess now they're finally deciding to build something new there. Wow, I think this is a car queue to buy lottery tickets. I think they have this like New Year's, New Year's uh, extra jackpot kind of thing. So I think this queue is like all the people lining up to buy lottery tickets for that. Here we have some little thing going on in this. I don't know if this is just for Christmas or if they're doing this all year round.
let's walk through here towards uh, Yurakcho station. Courtney, <laughs> I didn't stream my lunch, but I did have a, a nice uh, portion of uh, Indian curry at a nearby restaurant, and that caused a bit of a delay. I don't know if you, Courtney, are you on Twitter? Uh, if you are, you should join me there, and that that goes for all of you, by the way, uh, all of those of you watching. I did start a Twitter account a few days ago, and. Uh, I'm enjoying Twitter a lot, so I'm posting a lot there. So photos of my food, photos of photos from my walks. Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything. The link to my Twitter is in the video description. Is it expensive for Indian curry? It was 950 yen, so not expensive. I think around the thousand yen is very average price for lunch in uh, Tokyo. You can find lunch even cheaper. You can find lunch for like 500 yen as well. If you go to a place like Yoshinoya, for example, over here. Um, but uh, I think thousand yen you you can get really nice uh, meals during lunchtime it's Twitter better than Instagram well on Instagram I, I don't want to post like my phone photos on Instagram that's the thing Instagram for me is a place where I more like showcase my photographic like professional works uh, although I haven't really been updating my Instagram accounts much in the last six months but uh, yeah I wouldn't want to start posting like a bunch of mobile phone photos on Instagram that's why I'm doing that on uh, Twitter instead maybe should I head down to Hibiya Midtown and Hibiya Park. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Ah, yes, this is where I was during that uh, hailstorm a few months ago. That's right. Well spotted, some of you. I took refuge in here uh, during that long summer walk a few months ago when there was a very sudden hailstorm. That was crazy. Uh, so, yes, I'm there now. You did re recognize it very well. I think I will go down to, to Midtown and Hibiya Park. Maybe I can get a coffee and drink it in, in uh, the park. <laughs> yes, Yonggu-chan. Do you like Kibia Park? It is a pretty nice park. And I, I don't know if the, the Christmas market is open today. Uh, I guess we can take a look. I think we have to pay entrance fee to go inside if it's there. So, I'm not sure if I want to do that, but... Hello, wishful walking videos. Hello. 
Thank you, Lexus. Thank you so much. For Indian curry. Thank you. Yeah, that pretty much covers my lunch. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. That's Hibiya Midtown that we see here behind these buildings. I think I had to wait for the traffic light to change one more time. So we're next to Hibiya Station now. And down here we have of course the Marunouchi, the main street through Marunouchi, which I should probably come back to sometime at night because this tend to be one of the more famous places for uh, winter decorations here in Tokyo. Not terribly exciting in the daytime though. What's the spiciest curry I've ever had? I don't know. I don't try to make it so spicy. I mean, I like reasonably spicy, but not extremely spicy. I wonder how much business Jal Plaza is doing now. Right, yeah. Well, I think the domestic flights in Japan are still quite busy. Uh, I'm not sure how... Yeah, I think they're probably busy with their domestic flights at least but, uh, international flights maybe not so much right now do you like Japanese curry or Indian curry I like both I like both very much they're very different to me. Like, I, I don't really think of them as the same foods. I think of them as two different types of food. Here is a very iconic Ginza view. And especially now as the Shinkansen was rolling out from, the, from Tokyo Station. Oh wow, Triple X, thank you so much for this super generous super chat. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Looking forward to your streams in 2022. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm also excited to see what next year has in store for me, my family, and for this channel. It's gonna be interesting. We're living in very uncertain times, so Everything is kind of big unknown right now. Let me just post that photo I just shot. Some of you already know exactly which Shinkansen it was. Love the fact that I have such geeky viewers. That's exactly the kind of viewers I want to have on this channel. It's beautiful.
So, question is, can we find coffee around here? Here's some kind of nice Christmas decorations as well. I should come here at night too, I guess. And we're way, we're over 400 viewers now. Wonderful. Oh, I think this is a dog photo session going on. Look at them, so cute, super cute. <laughs> Coffee, coffee. I think I will walk one more block down this way and then turn right towards Kibia Park. Who's going to give super chat for tea to buy a Lexus? Yeah! If you do, I promise I will get a driver's license. If someone sponsors with me with a car, then I have a very good reason to finally get that license that I've been putting off for, well, for, for the better part of my life. Any construction work? Yes, they're building something over there. A new building is popping up. I think it's gonna be a relatively high one because land prices here are so expensive, so it doesn't really make sense to build something with a low, low floor count. This school excursion looks like so many kids. And down here is the Imperial Hotel, which is one of the, I think, one of the most famous and iconic hotels in Tokyo. It's quite old now, but uh, I know that a lot of people are very fond of this place. It's kind of a, re a relic from the days when Tokyo rose up and became like a big international city in the post-war era. I'm not sure. The hotel is probably older than that though. This area of Tokyo is class. Yeah, it is quite classy. It's uh, one of the fancier business and shopping districts in Tokyo after all. Mm, so, yeah, I can see the, the Christmas market down here. It's gonna be interesting to see what it's like and if we can actually go inside or not.
if we go further this way we will get towards Shinbashi area and of course here behind the park we have the Imperial Garden so yeah let's see what the Christmas market is like but I think we have to I have to make an advanced reservation and pay an entrance fee so I'm afraid I won't be able to go inside but we shall we shall soon find out Yeah, we have to pay entrance fee. And it said you can either pay with cash or with the uh, Suica. Yeah, it's a thousand yen to go inside. So, since I'm not really planning to stay in there, uh, I just wanted to take a quick peek, but uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Maybe I will do like a dedicated stream about the place. I will look up, look it up and see if it's worth featuring. Uh, but for now, let's just head back then. Yeah, I went last year. Last year was free to enter and it was pretty underwhelming. Ah, oh, John made a stream there. I see. Get a mug with the entrance fee. I see. Well, I don't need a mug. <laughs> so, it's not a particularly strong selling point for me. Let's enjoy the park instead. And again, my coffee crave. Yeah, the signal there was very weak, apparently. I hope we're back now. Yeah, looks like we're back now. Sorry about that. a thousand yen no no I don't think it's worth it it was strawberry donuts interrupting with the signal I see I didn't know that but that makes perfect sense yeah I'm always tempted I've never been up here but it looks quite quite inviting I don't know if it's if it's a public space where anyone can go or if it's like just for some of the offices maybe because this is mainly an office building the upper floors but yeah this little terrace area looks very nice You can go up there, it's very nice. Okay, so I'll look into it and try to go there sometime. I guess it involves riding an elevator and riding elevators often involves uh, broken signals or signal disruptions. So I don't want to try it out now. Anyway, let's head back down towards Marinochi area and see even if a uh, coffee person isn't there, maybe another coffee truck will be. There's, I think coffee person got some competition recently.
So I'm posting again, I'm posting these photos to Twitter. So please have a look there if you're interested in see what I'm snapping. Okay, let's cross here. I don't know if they were like putting up Christmas tree lights or if they were just like maintaining the trees. I really don't know. This is a pretty big crossing. And that's, again, Imperial Palace over there. Okay, it's another luxury hotel. This is the peninsula. I've never been there, but I assume that the view from up there must be quite great as well. However, it's not that high actually compared to many more recently built hotels. This is somewhat humble. down here to the main street in Marunochi. Now, hopefully we'll stay at New Otani next year. Yeah, that would be great. New Otani is currently being rebuilt, no? Or is that a different one? It's difficult to keep up to date with what's going on in all, at all the hotels. But uh, I think New Otani is being like renovated. Marinochi, my favorite street. Yeah, I like this street as well. It is a very nice one. That's why I come here on my stream so often. The fact that it's a nice street, but also the fact that my favorite coffee van is usually over here. Interesting. I have actually not noticed this big painting before. Light is very nice. Wait, let me snap a photo here. Ah, I got a good one. Got a good one.
too many Christmas decorations. This entire street is actually very well decorated, but it's just not very obvious in the daytime. But uh, all these trees have uh, quite a lot of Christmas lights. So, yeah, you don't get much of a Christmas vibe in the daytime, but certainly if you come here at night, it's quite different. It looks like there are some food trucks here. Hopefully we can get some coffee. Even though it hurts, it hurts me to go to someone else than coffee person. But since he's not here, then yeah, not much I can do about it. Do I have a favorite donut? No, I don't. Donuts is not really my favorite snack. It was a food truck. What about coffee? Here's Mr. Halal. I don't think I can get coffee at Mr. Halal. Too bad. Yeah, I hope coffee person isn't watching this and gets mad at me. <laughs> also down here at Tokyo International Forum, there's lots of food trucks probably could get some coffee there too but let's see there's a few more here let's check those out first what's your favorite snack uh, candy yeah candy like Haribo candy I also like chocolate a lot that's that's my my weak spot not so much like uh, salty snacks. Not too fond of that actually. <laughs> but these are all food trucks, yeah. Here's a soup curry truck. But no coffee. There's coffee shops, of course. The reason why I like trucks is because I generally don't like to go in inside shops uh, and stream without permission. So food trucks feels a little bit more relaxed in that regard. And every food truck I've met or every food truck owner I've met so far are um, have also been very kind of happy to get promotion on my streams like they don't mind if I shoot but when it's shops it can be a little bit uh, more complicated usually then it's not the owner that actually works there it's just some random stuff they are really tend to be very nervous and worried about doing something wrong so if I ask for permission to shoot they will most likely just say no to say safe Yes, salty licorice is definitely my favorite, favorite, favorite candy in the entire world. Unfortunately, I can't get it here in Japan. One more truck down here. Let's see what what they sell. Do you always have candy? 
No, I try not to eat it too much. Uh, for health reasons. But, uh, uh, yeah. I think more often than not, I have at least a piece of chocolate or something when I'm at home working. Um, I don't think many people like licorice here in Japan. No, I don't think so. It's a bit of an acquired taste. So usually most times I let Japanese people try it, they, they don't like that flavor. Some of you, I can hear that some of you want me to go inside there, so I will do that. Let me just see. I think this is actually a coffee truck. I'm pretty sure it is. So let's get a coffee here and then I can check that little brick square uh, over there. Yes, Kamakura coffee. Nice, let's try this. Are you waiting to yeah, order I or? So. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Finally, I managed to order myself a cup of coffee. So, uh, just a moment as I wait for her to prepare it for me. The original main shop is located in Kamakura. I don't know. I don't know. Could be. Could be. It's a cute little van though. And the lady seemed very nice as well. I will ask her. は鎌倉にやってます。鎌倉からは来てるんですけど、地域、そこそこラックですけどやってないんで、大体こっちに来てる。大体この辺？そうかそうか。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。So she's usually around here, but sometimes also in Kamakura. This sounds good too, hot lem lemonade. Ah, KMJC, thank you for the coffee donation. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, yeah, this is what the truck looks like. So she's making my coffee currently. This is the hot lemonade. Mm. Hi! 
Okay, got my coffee. Can I sit down for a moment on this pink fluffy thingy? Just to open my coffee. It's just black drip coffee, so I don't know how if it's even worth showing. I think you all know what black coffee looks like anyway, so. Mm. But I hear some uh, problematic, potentially problematic music, so let's move away from that. <laughs> that video I shot like two, three nights ago in Shibuya, it's still being processed by YouTube to remove the copyrighted music because it was like for quite a long time, like five, seven minutes in that video. Then it takes forever for YouTube to remove it. So uh, ideally I will try to avoid that from happening again. Yes, a pretty small cup of coffee this, but um, it's fine. For a black one, I, I don't mind. But okay, let's head back to that uh, brick uh, building over here instead. If I walk really quickly, it should be okay. If it's just a few seconds, um, yeah, there's usually no problems. It's more if it goes on for a longer time. Did this coffee shop come from Yokohama? Kamakura! Uh, it was called Kamakura Coffee. So, uh, yeah. Coffee is strong? Yeah, quite. It's very nice. It's a very good black coffee. I like it. Baby cup. It's not that small, but yeah, it's it's a pretty small one. It's not small unless you're an American. Yeah, that was actually exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> by American standards, yes, maybe small. But by the standards from the rest of the world, this is kind of normal size for a coffee, I think. Does it taste like Kamakura? No, it tastes like coffee. I don't know what Kamakura tastes like. I never tasted it. Maybe a bit of sand and salt water, but the coffee does not taste like that. But yeah, this little square is very nice, right? This building used to be a bank. If I'm not mistaken, but now it's uh, actually a cafe, quite fancy cafe, at least a part of it. Maybe there's something else in there as well. And here's what Mitsubishi Ichigokan Museum. I actually haven't been to that, but uh, I guess it's Mitsubishi who owns basically most of the land and most of the buildings here in Yamaranochi. So I guess that this museum is a bit of a place where you can learn more about the history of this area which is actually quite interesting I should go check that out how much is my coffee it was um, 450 yen so not exactly cheap but I don't mind supporting small local business owners for that yeah it's a French restaurant that's down here uh, there's a French restaurant and maybe this is also a French restaurant. It's a, a restaurant at least. I don't know if it's French or some other country But yeah, it's a nice little square Hey Lemmy! Good to see you here. How are you doing? This is also very nice. These trees and the shadows. Oh, 
Oh, that was perfect with the iconic Tokyo taxi passing as well. Another one for Twitter. So many people watching. Yeah. Well over 400. That's pretty good. Thank you everybody. If there are any new viewers watching now, I'd like to give you a warm welcome and also encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy live walks like this. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with the f and see the photos I snapped during the walks. Uh, join me on Patreon if you want to get access to Patreon-only streams as well as, as other exclusive goodies. Um, or at least consider clicking the like button. That's the easiest way for you to show your support. And it only costs you five seconds of your time. in the clay <laughs> you change your name nice nice Clayton ah oh, this is the sightseeing bus Maybe I should take a ride and just stream it. it. Could be nice. If I'm really lazy or if I have an injury or something so I can't walk, then I would have to rely on something like that. Is this Apple Store new? I don't remember it being an Apple Store here. But then again, I'm not sure when I came here last time. This is just next to Tokyo Station, so pretty good location. day to walk today. Unfortunately, unfortunately, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, don't have terribly much time today. So I think what I will have to do is to continue a little bit further down to Otemachi station and then wrap things up there. How much does a haircut normally cost in Japan? It can cost anything from a thousand yen to well over 10,000 yen, depending on where you go. The place I used to go to, I think he charged like 3,000 uh, 3, yen. Uh, but there are certain chains that offer 1,000 yen haircuts as well. So that's pretty cheap. warmer today. Yes, it is. It's very nice today. It's perfect walking weather. の雰囲気はこの辺すごくいいですね。
it looks good. Yeah, the weather is great. It's perfect. What's that building? This is Tokyo Station. This old brick building. The only really beautiful train station in Tokyo. If you ask me. And yeah, down here we have the Imperial Palace. So straight down there. And here we have the Shin Marunochi building, I think. And an airplane just passing above. Thank you, Smi, you know, future sake tasting funds. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Maybe this weekend. Who knows? I should try to do another sake tasting live stream, right? That was a lot of fun. Let's see if I can make that happen this weekend. I also hope to do a Patreon only live stream quite soon. Maybe this coming we weekend. How old is that station? I don't know that off the top of my head. I'm not good with numbers and details like that, but uh, I'm sure someone in the chat will look it up on Wikipedia and share it with you. like a parliament or something. This building, I think. Yeah, no, it's uh, Tokyo Station. <laughs> I knew that someone would tell me exactly which plane that was. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's go down one more block here. finished my coffee now. So, a few more blocks down here and we will be at the um, Otemachi station. Please walk into Shin building. No, I won't. I usually don't shoot inside buildings because you need permissions to do that. Also, signal tends to be a bit problematic whenever I go indoors. Yeah, Four Seasons is near here. Shangri-La is near here. Lots of luxury hotels in this region. Or in this part of Tokyo, for good reason. I mean, it's next to the heart of, of Tokyo and the luxury shopping district and everything. So, no wonder. How's the 
air quality? Ah, good question. I think it's pretty good. The air feels very clean today. But uh, let's check. Uh, according to uh, Apple, it's moderate. So, not that great. Are you tired of walking every day? No. I love walking. I get more tired if I don't walk. Then I get bored and restless at home. But uh, these streams are always fun to me. But um, the problem is just that my schedule is sometimes a little bit too busy. And that's why I will wrap things up here. So this today's stream was a little bit shorter, but we're next to Otomachi station here. So um, I'm afraid that's where I will have to say goodbye to you today. But uh, I am planning to stream again tomorrow. So uh, hope you some of you will be able to join me for that have you ever been skiing or snowboarding in Japan no I've never been skiing or snowboarding anywhere so uh, yeah I never tried skiing actually but it seems quite fun I want to try it At, especially cr cross-country skiing seems uh, very nice anyway that will be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's walk. And uh, yeah, I will see you all again soon. At the Machi Station. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, do. Auf Wiedersehen. Mata ne.